proudly supported by Superior Engineering. So we are kicking off our bar work on the patrol with a set of rock sliders. Now, if you don't know what rock sliders are, they're basically a big, strong steel side step that you can lean your car onto rocks. A lot of people do go out and just buy a set of uh, rock sliders off the shelf, and that's fine, but we are going with a weld together kit from DIY Customs. Now with a weld together kit, you get all your pieces bent and pre-notched. So the only thing you really have to do is measure everything up and uh, weld it together. Now I took my measurements a few weeks ago and I sent them off to DIY Customs and he sent me back a whole heap of options. So I wanna run through a few different styles with you guys. Once you've measured up exactly how long you want your sliders and where your brackets are going, it's time to pick a style. And this is where the custom part comes in. You can see here, I've had a quick play around and come up with a few different styles, but this part is completely up to you. Right, so for me at the moment, it's a toss up between the double kicker and the single kicker. I don't mind the look of this, but I think it looks a little bit messier than having just a single kicker and all the runs going the same way. I think that looks really, really tidy. Now, I am kind of leaning towards this one at the moment, which is very similar to how we did Coles last time, but I think we had a few Vs in this little section here. But because this is a wagon, these are quite a bit longer than they were on Coles, so I think all the runs facing the same way it looks a heck of a lot tidier. But in saying that, the double kicker definitely serves a purpose of uh, protecting that sill a little bit more. So we're locking this design in. The single kicker with the straight bar looks absolutely mint. Now, what we need to do is actually start tacking it up. So you wanna get your edges as close as possible and line everything up. Now, what I like to do is actually leave these runs in just to know that you are perfectly spaced up and down because you can actually move this bar down like that. And if you weld it in like that, it's not gonna work. So leave these bars in just as a bit of a spacer. Then we can actually start measuring our gaps, making sure that all of them are nice and even. Then we can actually weld this thing up and then start mocking it up on the car. I'm absolutely stoked with that design. I think it looks really cool. Welding is 80% settings and 20% skill, and we're gonna need every bit of that 80%. So out comes the scrap to dial in the welder. This welder gets absolutely flogged and I've used it in all of my builds. So if there's one tool I'd suggest buying, it's a welder. And if you've never welded, a set of sliders would be the perfect start. When a weld grabs on a steel, it pulls and twists with the heat. So I'm tucking every piece top and bottom to stop it moving around. I'm also gonna spread the welds out so the steel doesn't get too hot and bend. I definitely don't want a banana shaped slider today. All right, first slider is now done. What I found the easiest to weld was from the center down on each side. And then if you flap this, just that little join that you make, it actually looks like one complete weld, which is quite tidy. Now we've also done the little end caps here that they supply as well. So this slider is pretty much done, which means we need to move on to the next one. Even though we are making sliders for both sides of the car, there's no left and right yet. So to make things easy, I placed it down the exact same measure it up and weld it together. Righty-o, we have both the sliders now done. Uh, the second one welded out a crap ton better than the first one just because the settings on the welder I've been adjusting and I finally nailed them. So the second one looks really good. You can see nice and even welds and I didn't have to go through and fill any of the gaps because I actually managed to weld right around it, which was great. But man, these things look super, super cool. 
Now, I have actually added one more bar at the back here as well on each of them, and that just sort of evens everything out. So there's now four runs and then the main bar and then four runs and then the main bar. Right, so I've got the patrol pulled into the shed and it's time to get those bloody things off the car. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Once they're off, we can actually start mocking these sliders up and these things are gonna look so good on this car. I can't wait to get them on. We've got chassis brackets over there. So we've got to bolt the chassis brackets to the chassis uh, just so we can get a length. Because if you can imagine the chassis here, we need to make uh, arms to come out and grab onto this. This is the exciting part because we get to do all our angles, make the things look sick on the car. Can't wait for this actually. Put these on the bloody Tritos. Bah, she looks so much bigger without the side steps on. It actually looks really, really cool. Kind of a shame that we're putting sliders there instead because I actually really like the look of that, but it's just not practical to have that out in the bush. So we're doing the sliders. Now the next bit is actually the chassis brackets. So you would have seen me doing some measurements at the start of the video. These are what I was measuring. So the thickness of the chassis and the height. Uh, on the patrol, it does get a little bit thicker uh, towards the front, so I did have to order some wider ones, and this is why you do have to measure every single car individually because some of them change. Now, most of the time, you have three points of contact, so you have one at the back, one in the middle, and one at the front. But if you can see this thing, this is at the front. We don't actually have the ability to go across the chassis at all. So what most people do and what we did last time is we bolted a piece of flat bar onto the side here. So basically we'll have one flat bar bracket, one chassis bracket in the middle here, another chassis bracket at the back. Now another thing that you gotta be sure of is that these brackets get pushed all the way up the chassis. And unfortunately you do have to do these bolts up tight. Um, if these actually aren't pushed up all the way, or let's say you leave it loose and it moves around, then by the time you bolt your slider on and push it all the way up, your slider might sit, you know, front or back. But anyway, let's get these brackets on um, and start mocking these up. Right, it's actually the next day, ran out of time last night, but we have a little bit of a problem. I kind of mismeasured what I was doing uh, originally, and I didn't realize that you could take the pot off the back. So the slider, it's a little bit short. So on the back, there's these little pod things that come down off the flare and I never even thought about removing it, but I've actually taken it off and that's made my slider come back a heck of a lot more, which is a lot better, but then it leaves us a little bit short at the front here. So we're gonna have to try and sort that out. Ideally, you want the slider as long as possible. So we're gonna try and do that. And my other thought is that when we get our brush bars, I don't really want them to come all the way down and then have to jump all the way across there. So what I've done is I've cut these pieces here and if we just weld that onto there and then extend that bar across, we're actually adding in another run and widening it about 100 mil. Bit of a stuff up in the calculations. I ordered these at 1700 long. If you're doing this at home on a Series 4 Patrol, 1800 would probably be perfect, maybe a little bit more. Honestly, other than that, these things look friggin' unreal. They're nice and tidy, tucked up nice to the door. You see that kicker comes out just enough for that flare. It's gonna work out really well with some brush bars. Really like the look of that as a slider. This is embarrassing. A slider episode with the wrong size slider. Mistakes happen and it's all about how we can fix them. A few simple cuts and a couple of notches and she's all fixed up. We are all welded up on the slider now and it doesn't look too bad at all. I've kind of just played around with the angle grinder and just shaped that corner because you will see that a little bit. But it's time to now set these up on the jack stand. So I'll have a quick play around, I'll get these up and I'll show you guys what I'm thinking in terms of angle. You are obviously limited to doors being opened as well as like body parts It will actually bend up and hit the body part. And you do need to take into account that if you were to sit on the slider pretty hard and it did move, you don't really want it to push into your car. So you don't want the tolerance to be too close, but you want it to look really, really nice. All right, I've got that in the position that I'm happy with. I've put a fair bit of angle on it. I could go the slightest bit more, but I'm not gonna bother. I think that looks really nice. You can see it is just about perfectly straight as well. So I'm very happy with that position. So we're gonna lock that one in. So now what we need to do is get these bits of pipe and measure them to length. And then they go from our chassis bracket all the way to the inside of the slider. 
And once we've got that, we tuck it in and then we can bring it off to the table and fully weld it. I can sum this part up pretty quickly. If you f these measurements up, the slider will not sit right. Now that all the pipes are cut, it's time to weld them in, but because we're welding them on the car, you have to disconnect the battery. All right, we've got the slider tacked up onto the brackets and she is looking mint. I actually played around with some of the clearance. You can see there's bugger all in there, but it turned out really, really clean. See it from all angles. I tucked it up just a little bit more and angled it up just the slightest bit. So that is looking insane. This is exactly why I wanted to make my own slider. You can just get it in the perfect spot, tuck it up real high to the car. Mint. Anyway, this side is pretty well right to go. The only thing I've got to do is um, put the flat bar across to that body mount on the front here. I want to do that while it's on the jack stands just in case we get a little bit of sag if I take it off. In the kit, there was a supplied flat bar and the easiest way I could think about making this work was a hole saw straight through the guts of it, cut it in half and use one half for each side. This one is actually standing up all by itself now, which means it's just about ready to be taken off and welded. What I'm gonna do is leave that on. We're gonna quickly do the other side because we need to get measurements off this and make sure that they're exactly the same. It's probably the hardest part is making sure that these two are exactly the same. Definitely took a lot of stuff around with the other one, but this one's probably gonna be worse just because it needs to be exactly the same as the other one. So what I might do is chuck you guys on a bit of a T-lapse and uh, bowl this one out. Old Diesel on the job again, sleeping like he always does. I've gone ahead and taken as many reference measurements as I could from the other side. But one thing that did help me massively is the jack stands. You can actually count each notch for the height and then using the same spaces that I used on the other side, it just made this super quick. Once it's tacked up, I took a few more measurements just to be sure that we were exactly the same. I actually managed to get it within 0.5 of a degree with the angle and the rest of it's pretty well spot on with the other side. So I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I'll actually probably stay back one night uh, this week at work and paint these. Um, so I won't be putting them back on in this episode, but anyway, we'll get her out in the light, have a look at them and uh, yeah, get them off and then finish weld them. Definitely recommend doing a custom kit because you can just make them look so friggin' sick. Have a look at that. We've got the perfect angle on the sliders. They're nice and square, perfectly parallel with the body. Have a look at this side and see the slider sits up nice and tight on the car. So I need to gently pull these off without trying to move anything too much. Um, we'll get them on the welding table, we'll gusset them up and finish welding them. So I've got these sliders off the car. You have to be very, very careful not to stuff up any of your angles when you pull these off. It actually just happened to me. I went to pull it off and the whole slider just moved and it moved away from the mount. So I had to remount it back on the car, tack weld it again. So definitely be careful and do way more tack welds than you think you need to do. Now it's time to fully weld these and we get these triangulated gussets here and we basically have to put those onto any of the mounts we can. Also on this one here, I'm gonna do probably one either side. So one there and one there, and that's gonna beefen the shit out of that one as well. Now I'm gonna tack these gussets in before any of the finish welding, just to add a little more strength and less banana. Once it's tacked up, I'm spreading the welds out, letting them cool off between runs, and that's just so it lines up when I'm finished. I'm 
bloody stoked with the end result on these. The crossbars have added a ton of strength and honestly, not that much more weight. They look aggressive, sit nice, they're strong as, and completely custom. I reckon we give these about a 10 out of 10. I quickly just ran around with the spray can, sprayed them in etch primer just to stop the rust uh, building up on those welds. And also I tidied up these little joins that we did here with a little bit of bog and they look like we haven't even been there. I am pumped with how these have turned out. Honestly, can't wait to get them black and get them on the patrol. And this is literally only the start of the bar work. We've got the bull bar coming, the rear bar is actually ready. I'm just gonna go and pick it up. If you guys are chasing a similar kit, I'll link DIY Customs below so you can get onto him. You could order something very similar to this. You could change it up. Um, it's just up to how you want to do it. And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I appreciate you all watching as always. If you like the video, definitely drop a like. Drop a comment as well. Let me know what you think of the sliders. We've got heaps and heaps of big stuff coming. This is only the start of the bar work. We've got bull bar, rear bar. Uh, we've got winch, lights. We've got so much stuff coming for this patrol. So if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so, so you can catch up on all my episodes. Now I'm gonna go inside because I'm covered in shit and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. You better be there, because I'll be there. Catch you later.